guys, it's, it's the, the doll, doll place. place. And yesterday it was my birthday and we went to the Bay Area AG place and picked up a few things, mainly this beauty. So if you guys don't know, this is a Kaya doll and I believe that Kaya is a super underrated doll and I'm very glad that we purchased her yesterday and we're going to be talking about her a little bit. But first we're going to talk about the other things that we got besides just Kaya. So the first thing we got was this travel and style dress. Came with this headband and these really cute pairs of shoes as well as this this adorable dress. And this will be perfect for when we take our trip coming up to San Francisco. I know it seems weird we're going back to San Francisco, but this one's gonna be more of a trip. We're gonna stay the night in a nice hotel and everything. So yeah, you guys will definitely see photos of this outfit in the near future. The next thing we got was just your basic American Girl doll hairbrush, and this is because we only have one good American Girl hairbrush. The other one is one that we use when we do our doll fix-up, cut like in our customs and like anything like that that we have to like brush out the doll's crazy messed up hair because those typically ruin doll hairbrushes. So we got another one so that we have two good hairbrushes because Kaya has a lot of hair. And speaking of Kaya, the last thing that we purchased from the American Girl place was Kaya herself. And a lot of you guys may be wondering where this came from. And as you guys already know, I already have a thing for Kaya. I personally love Kaya and her face mold and everything about her. I think she's really cute. And, and she's very unique and she's a very pretty doll. Mm -hmm. And I want to marry her. And so yeah, I've always liked her. I have always thought she was very underrated and not really utilized in the right way because I feel like a lot of people are scared off by her because she is so very historical. That was actually the reason we haven't really like purchased her is because we thought how could this doll kind of fit into our collection being as she's like the oldest historical doll. So it'd be kind of weird to have like our 60s doll, our 40s doll, and then just like like the Native American deer skin in the house would be kind of a little interesting. So we decided to modernize her. And when you do this, I believe that Kaya, it's just, she's so pretty. And she is so pretty in her other outfit too, her like regular era. But when you have a collection of like Truly Me's and stuff, she is just so gorgeous, modernized. And yeah, we're going to show you guys what this doll looks like with her hair down. So you guys can see she has some very, very long hair. It goes to like her knees. And this is one of Kaya's like prettiest features and a lot of people don't even know how long her hair is and like how amazing it is when it's let down because she comes to you in very tight straight braids and yeah when we got her we immediately took those out because we have seen her with her hair down and knew just how beautiful she was like this. You guys are probably wondering why we decided not to do an, un an unboxing and that's just because we really wanted to get her hair down and get her in a modern outfit because we wanted to take some pictures while we were in the city. So yeah, that's why we don't have an unboxing, but yeah, I think she's absolutely gorgeous. And another thing that really attracted me to getting Kaya was her face mold, of course. Kaya's face mold is just so unique. I just love everything about it. She's the only doll that isn't like showing her teeth when she's smiling and she is just so pretty. And her eyebrows are a little bit thicker and longer than the other American Girl doll face molds. And she has the prettiest chin. Like, just by the way. So yeah, this those are all the reasons that we've been really just like obsessing over Kaya these past few months. And we were just so excited to finally have the opportunity and pick her up. And yeah, I just think she's gonna be absolutely beautiful in our collection. And this time we're for real when we say this is our last doll. Our collection is officially complete. No more dolls. I know that sounds crazy, but yeah, we just don't have the room. So you guys are probably wondering if we are keeping the name Kaya because we are kind of modernizing her and all of that kind of stuff. So 
no, we're not. We are changing her name to Beatrice. And yeah, we just decided on the name Beatrice because we love classic and timeless names. I think one day we're gonna make a video all about how we chose our dolls' names. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, we just love old fashioned names. And yeah, Beatrice is just very pretty. And you guys will see her introduced in season four of the Doll Play series if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this doll's personality when she comes. So yeah, we're just super, super excited to introduce this doll to our collection. And yeah, we already made a little room for her in the dollhouse, which I'm sure you guys have seen. So if you guys are thinking about getting Kaya, I definitely recommend getting this doll. She is just so stunning and so underrated and I believe that a lot more people should have her in her their collection because she really stands out in the best way. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!